Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to do uh, one more quick video on this Tecumseh motor that I uh, took apart and I'm not putting back together. Um, on the previous video, uh, I showed you that the um, uh, cylinder and especially the piston were scored uh, beyond you know what I thought was reasonable to put back together and put back into use, uh, sell, you know, give away or whatever. Um, but the purpose of this video is to show you kind of how some of the internal components or internal pieces inside the crankcase work, uh, like the governor. So this is the governor assembly on a Tecumseh motor, and this this piece right here, this uh, uh, circular piece. Uh, is connected and this gear is connected to the camshaft so the camshaft kind of sits in here like that and it's turning with the crankshaft and it's turning this this governor and as the the governor spins faster and faster these weights uh, due to centrifugal force or centripetal force will move outwards and in doing so there are, they have these little levers on the bottom that pull this this uh, piece up this circular piece up and that actually pushes on the governor arm uh, attached to the um, throttle on the carburetor so let me show you so that piece actually pushes on here and moves the governor arm. So as the engine uh, as the engine speeds up or slows down, it pushes or releases pressure, and there's pressure and, and there's a spring connected to this, connected to the uh, butterfly on the throttle, and that's basically how it maintains the engine RPM. Because you know when you when you set the tension on that spring uh, or that spring controls the tension that basically controls at what point this is going to to settle into an equilibrium so that's how a governor on a Tecumseh motor works and the other you know the other brands like Briggs and Stratton and and uh, Honda are all similar they all have similar uh, setups for governors they basically work on centripetal force um, with a set of weights that move in and out that control uh, you know a, a lever basically the governor arm in here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the oil pump on this Tecumseh motor works. So basically you have the cam camshaft here and it has a um, offset lobe here that this piece goes onto. This is the oil pump itself. So that goes around like that and as the camshaft rotates this thing goes back and forth and I'll show you in here so this so this piece sits right in here like that like that and the camshaft sits in here like uh, that okay and when the motor spins you can see that oil pump goes in and out right you see that so as the motor spins this thing pumps in and out very quickly now what that does is uh, this little well in here where the camshaft sits fills up with oil because this sump is full of oil and these two cutouts allow the oil to go down in here okay and this camshaft is sitting down there in a pool of oil and you can see that the bottom of the crankshaft or it's camshaft sorry camshaft has a hole in it and that's where the oil comes up 
and that oil comes into this passageway right here. So this little cutout fills with oil. So when this thing spins, so this is designed actually, so when this spins, it pulls oil from here. So it's pulling oil from there. Uh, actually, so when this, this thing has a hole in it, right, so it creates actually, it creates a push and a pull. So it's pulling, it's pulling when this hole is lined up with this groove. So it's pulling oil from down in that sump area, uh, that, that little well where the camshaft is sitting. So it's pulling oil up through here. So as this thing comes around over this passageway, it pulls the oil in and uh, this and as it pulls out this area inside this pump fills with oil and then as it comes around to the other side it pushes out and so then the oil gets pushed from that this thing is full of oil and so when it comes around it pushes into this passageway actually sorry I had that backwards it pulls from this passageway and pushes into this passageway so this passageway is connected to the bottom of the crankshaft down in the sump that's always sitting in a pool of oil and then this sh shaft or this this uh, hole is when it's pushing out is pushing oil up through the cr through the through the camshaft so it pushes oil up through the top of the camshaft and so the oil is coming up through the top of the camshaft it's being pushed there by the oil pump and the top of the camshaft is sitting up here and there's an oil passageway I don't know if you can see it but there is a little hole here and there's a hole here at the top of the crank not sure if you can see it um, I think you can right there and the oil is pushed up here and it falls down over the crankshaft so the crankshaft and the um, rod the you know the rod and crank bearing are getting oiled and also that acts to uh, sling the oil around inside the motor so as the crankshaft is spinning this oil pump is pumping oil up to the top of the block and it's falling down over the crankshaft and it's slinging oil everywhere so it's getting you know into the into the cylinder and it's getting into the, the valve area and all of that so that's how the the oil pump on uh, uh, one of these uh, Tecumseh push mowers works so I hope this uh, was a good explanation and um, again if you like these videos be sure to like like subscribe comment and I will see you on the next one